with my background going from, well, all these cultures I've experienced are more or less European cultures. What I'm trying to say is, when I, when I was a child, I was taught different things about what girls can do and cannot do than when I moved to Central Europe. There, the, the picture is very different of what girls can and cannot do. Or, and for that reason, of course, also what boys can and cannot do. And, and I saw these two sides and I thought, this is all a construct. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, because in some places, they think girls can't do maths and boys can't learn languages. And I know it to be true that in, in my f circle of friends, it's the opposite sometimes. Some, some boys know very well, learn a language very quickly, and some girls are much better in, in math. And what I've noticed through going through the years of studying and, and before that through the years of schooling is that I think I helped some of my friends to, to widen their, their limits of what they can do because I could show them, oh well, when I was a little child, none of that was a fact. So why are you taking it as a fact? And that meant that sometimes I was, I feel like now looking back, I feel like I, I helped people understand that it's their, ta it's their skills, it's not their gender that tells them what they can or cannot do or what they want or don't want to do. So um, for me, it's, it's, that's the important bit. And I can then extend that to, to, to extend that to see that it's not just gender, it's also ethnicity, it's, I don't know, skin color, all these things, which sometimes, I, I, I always think, you know, if you look at nature again, if you have diversity, you will have a stable system that, that can take a lot of different stresses.